Um, it means a lot to me. It's a real privilege and honour to, um, you know, lead lead this team around the park and you know to follow in the footsteps of some of the greats like Jarrod Croker and Alan Tung to to lead the team out before me is um, a real privilege and I get the chance to do that on my own this year and um, I've got some great leaders below me that will help me through along the journey. But yeah, um, for me, it's a real privilege. The captaincy of this club means so much to me. Um, it's such an incredible honour and a privilege to be recognised as a leader amongst the game, but to lead this group alongside Zahara Tamara um, is a, it's an honour and I know I'm really extremely proud to be able to represent this club, uh, my teammates, um, and be part of this journey with, alongside many girls and um, share this moment with Zahara Tamara. You know, to be a Raider, it's it's more than just the game, it's, it's who you represent, it's why you do things and you know to see the growth of the women's game here in Canberra and when you get off the plane and you've got you know people going oh my daughter was wanting to play be a gym gymnast and you know they got to watch you play at GIO Stadium and they want to be a Raider now and you know I'm really extremely grateful that you know the platform that we have where we're making changes and it's positive changes that we're making and you know, to be a Raider, not only on the field, but off the field, it is bigger than ourselves, but, you know, we've been able to lean a lot on each other and make Canberra home, and, you know, it's just an extreme honour. Um, well, for me, not knowing much about the club and the history before I came from England, um, I didn't know much, but as I've been here, nine, this will be my ninth season now, I've really learned a lot about the history and the club, and um, it means a lot to me, it means everything. You know, I love this club, I love the fans, I love the community. And um, yeah, like I said, um, to, to pull that jersey on for one more year is um, um, a great accomplishment for me. Um, probably a lot of the young boys, you know, they've really impressed me in the pre-season. Um, they got Ethan Strange and um, you know even Trey Muni and Atta Moriata, they really stepped up this pre-season. So I'm looking forward to them to gain some time and showing what they can do. And you know we've got a big future here at the club with them young kids coming through. So yeah, it's exciting times. This season, I'm really looking forward to building on what we've been able to establish in 2023. Um, we we all know that you know every year you make the most out of that opportunity because you don't know what the following year would hold. And I know. It's, 2024 has got some exciting opportunities, exciting things happening behind the scenes. Um, and I'm just looking forward to continuing to build what we've been able to establish the squad in 2023. Oh, it's massive, you know, not just on the field, off the field, um, you know, we're, we're the only club in Canberra and, you know, to have the backing of the fans and the the sponsors is massive, you know, we, we feel that on the field and when they do turn up in the numbers, um, our GIO is re really good for the boys, it really, really gets us pumped up for the games and, you know, when it's roaring, it's a good place to be, good atmosphere. It is extremely important to have the support of our corporate partners and members to go on this journey with us. To be able to wear the green jersey, dawn with the support of our sponsors, to run out at GIO Stadium and hear the loud cheers of our fans, our members, rain, hail or shine, it all contributes to what we're able to do week in, week out, is play the great game of rugby league. The feeling of running out to the Viking clap at GIO Stadium, I remember it fondly when the first opportunity we got to do so against the Roosters and like it really gives me goosebumps um, on that moment and you know we had a young girl there that we were running out with and you know, to look at her, look at Z, and then behind me, without even looking, um, I could feel my teammates. And, you know, we were the underdogs leading into that game. But when we hear, you hear the song, you hear your fans, and then you just get a real adrenaline rush that we're home. Yeah, look, it really gets you pumped up, you know. I think, um, you know, the first few times, they didn't really know what to expect, but the more, the more and more we've all bought into it and um, everyone gets behind it, it really does get the place rocking. And um, it's good to see when we are going well, uh, all the fans are out there and they all get behind it too and it makes atmosphere. So, you know, coming from England, I think sometimes miss that little bit of atmosphere like they do over there, but um, yeah, it really brings something special to GIO.